Hey, hey guys, it's Grady here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I thought it'd be kind of fun to go to Barnes & Noble and just kind of see what they have. I don't intend on buying any books, but that doesn't mean I can't walk out with books. I meant to film a little introduction when I was still at my apartment and I'm already in the parking lot and realized I never did an introduction. I do have other errands that I have to run today, so I don't know if I will make it back in time to have an introduction, so we're just going to settle with an in-the-car introduction. So let's go ahead and go shopping and you guys can see what I walk out with. <laughs>
Mm, so yeah, I walked out with some books. I walked out with six books. I would say I regret everything, but I don't. <sighs> this is why I can't be allowed to go into a bookstore because chances of me actually buying something are pretty high. I bought these books knowing that either one I've already read them and I love them, I'm just adding them to my shelf or I know I'm going to be reading them very soon, or it's already an author that I love. So, yeah, oops. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna explain my reasonings why, because I have no reason other than I, when I deal with stress, I tend to buy stuff, so this is my downfall. Hopefully you guys can't hear my AC. I live in Texas. It's still summer here. We are under the 90s now, but Texas heat is no joke. I have my AC on its lowest setting, so hopefully you can't hear it. Um, I'm sorry if you can, but I cannot <laughs> do the video um, without the AC. So I'm just going to apologize. I am gonna go fast. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick little book haul. Plus this is really awkward. I need to get used to like filming out in public. But anyway, first up I got Wretched by Emily McIntyre. I still need to read this. This is the third book in the Ever After series. And I think this one is the Snow White retelling if I remember correctly. I just haven't had a chance to dive into it yet. I am a sucker for any kind of Disney retelling or retelling in general. I just think they're so much fun. So I still need to read this. And of course I needed to support this author. Just the fact that an indie published author was in a bookstore like Barnes and Noble is such a really cool thing. And I know these actually got picked up by a publisher. So those will actually be traditionally published here shortly. So I wanted to buy it and add it to my shelves, even though I haven't read it yet, but I love the first two. I got a copy of Barbarian Lover by Ruby Dixon. I have read this already. I think I'm on like book 10 or something when it starts to bridge between the Ice Home series. I think my first is going to be the first Ice Home and then it just bounces back and forth. Anyway, this is the third book in the series. I love this book. This one follows, oh, who is it? Kira, that's right. It follows Kira. I honestly, I can't remember my ranking of the series anymore just because I've been reading these, this series. I think I started in 2019, I think, and I haven't read any of them. I think I read some last year, but I'm not 100% sure, so yeah. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I get so nervous when people like drive by or walk by. It's so weird. Anyway, next book I got is Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. This is the second book to The Love Hypothesis. This follows a different couple. Again, this is another book that I just haven't had a chance to read yet. It is very recently released. Um, the only thing that's going to bother me is I think I have the book of the month edition for book one, so it's obviously a hardcover, so I don't know how much this is going to bother me having the paperback. But anyway, I am excited to read this because I really love book one and I just have a feeling I'm gonna love that one as well. Next up I got a copy of Barbarian Mind. This is the fourth book in the series. This one actually just came out. Y'all I cannot with these spines. Honestly that's probably like my favorite part is the color of the spines. They're so beautiful. Here's book three. They're so beautiful. I am just collecting these because I love the series. It is literally just so addicting this one follows harlow um i just remember really like been liking this one also so i i'm just so excited she got picked up by a publisher i mean she definitely deserves it considering how much hype that series had recently um next up i got love in the time of serial killers and this is by alicia thompson i couldn't remember who the author was this one i keep seeing all over book tube and people just raving about this book it sounds extremely interesting so basically she's like a publicist or some kind of phd like she's going for her phd she's obsessed with true crime and she's following all these different serial killers and all this kind of stuff. i don't know it just sounds extremely interesting i'm extremely interested i probably should have just you know borrowed it from the library but impulse buy I mean <laughs> what I don't I got no other <laughs> reason why last up I got Maggie moves on by Lucy score this is another book I haven't read yet but I love this woman to absolute pieces 
she is an amazing author this is her i think her first traditionally published book i haven't had a chance to read it but by a thread which is also by her that's a indie published book that is like one of my all-time favorite books and i've just been waiting for the chance to start this book because i really like her writing style it is just super good so i know this one follows like a girl that's like a youtube star um and some about house flipping or something I don't know it's Lucy score so that's why I decided to pick it up they also had um, her other release which is also extremely popular things we never got over that's another one that I still need to read her books are quite chunky so that's why I haven't read them if you don't know this about me I am really intimidated by big books I tend to stay away from them unless I can like talk myself into reading them because I don't know what it is about them, but I, I just don't gravitate to them. I prefer the shorter books. Maybe that's my attention span. I I don't know. It is definitely an interesting quality trait of mine that I don't seek them out. Um, so yeah, I walked out with six books. That was not the intention. Of course, I wanted to see if I could find the Ruby Dixon books because I just really want to add them to my shelves plus it's Ruby Dixon. Um, I also wanted to see if I could find that serial killer book and I ended up finding it and then I walked out with more than anticipated. So I would say I have regrets, but to be truthfully honest, I don't. I don't regret this at all. It's totally fine, right? I mean, this is what we do. We buy too many books and spend money on books when we should be buying other stuff. But you know what? It makes me happy and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> I'm trying to like talk myself into this purchase. <laughs> um, I was debating about going to Half Breast Books to be truthfully honest. That's where I spend a lot of money because I seriously could live there. I haven't been in a while, honestly. I probably the last time I went, I did another unhaul this summer which is probably gonna be my last unhaul for a while because that was a really big unhaul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me. Hopefully I don't do this again anytime soon because I need to stop, it's a problem. Anyway, let me know if you have read any of these, what you think, maybe some books that I should check out. I'm always open to recommendations. I will read pretty much anything to be truthfully honest. You all saw the clip of me browsing like the children's books. I am thinking about this. It is definitely like on my mind. I grew up, so like I don't know if y'all know this about me, so a little story time. I haven't always been a reader. I have always had a love of books, but I was a kid in school. Sorry, I'm moving the bag so it's kind of loud. Um, I struggled with reading as a student. I really struggled with reading comprehension. Sorry, this bag is extremely loud. And it didn't, so I never really enjoyed reading because it would always frustrate me because I'd always try and do those. I don't know if it's still really a thing. The schools that I've been at, that I've worked at, it, they don't do them. So I don't even know if it's a thing anymore, but they would have those like AR tests where you would read a book and then take a quiz on it and I know when I did my student teaching they had like a competition and it was the cutest thing ever um they would have like a I think you had to get like 100 points in the AR system and you got to join like the AR club and they got like a cute little t-shirt it was the cutest thing um but my the schools that I have been at they don't focus on it which is so sad because I feel like in my opinion it really helps promote like a, a want to read because they can earn those points to uh, enter this like club or whatever. I just think it's super cute. Anyway, needless to say, I've always had a love of books. I would read occasionally because like I said, I always tried to, you know, take those quizzes on those AR tests. So I grew up reading Goosebumps. I mean, what kid didn't in the 90s? It is so nostalgic for me. I literally have not read any of them since I was a kid. And with like the resurgence, and I think it kind of like helps because my kids keep going to the library and checking out Goosebumps. And especially since there's now like spinoff series to Goosebumps, I am very curious. 
I know a lot of them because I've been kind of seeing if there's like, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. And I've heard that over time it has some questionable content in it. <laughs> um, they are not holding up as well anymore, which is kind of sad because, you know, it's goosebumps. I grew up on it. Um, but I really am thinking about doing a reading vlog of sorts or like a review of some sort reading some of the Goosebumps books if not all of them I know the original series has like 62 books and then there's like I think like three or four like spinoff worlds from it so I don't know it just sounds like really fun because I really miss like those feelings of those goosebump books that it would give me as a kid like I said they probably won't hold up it'll just be pure nostalgia for me but I thought that would be kind of fun I have a ton of them in my classroom including some of like the spinoff books I just like randomly found them at like half price books and library sales and stuff so I have four of them in my school backpack as we speak um, because I thought that would be kind of fun to do and I don't know just I keep seeing like different posts and all that and just seeing my kids check them out I think it'd be really fun to see how they hold up to today and then see how if there's a difference in like the new spinoff series to see how different they are or if they're even good I don't know I just think that would be really fun anyway I'm starting to ramble now I feel really awkward because a car pulled up to me and that's why I'm like kind of avoiding because <laughs> awkward. Anyway, all right. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.